Okay, are you familiar with the three common types of DOAS applications? Let me show you. Okay, a DOAS or dedicated outdoor air system or makeup air unit or 100% outdoor air unit, all names for the same thing. This is a dedicated unit that, that heats, cools, dehumidifies the air, ultimately to provide neutral, neutral air to the space. Let's say typically 72 degrees, 50% relative humidity. Okay, now I'm gonna go over the three common application types. Okay, what you see here is what I see most, which is the dedicated outdoor air systems providing the, the dehumidified air directly to the space, and then you have units in the space handling the sensible load. These could be air handling units, fan coils, or VRF units. The OA here is handling all of your latent load for the space, or it should be designed to do that, and these units are just handling the sensible. All right, common application number two. So here you can see instead of providing the air directly to the space, the DOAS is providing to the back of your terminal units. These could be VRF units, air handling units, or fan coil units. Again, you're providing the dehumidified air directly to the back of the unit, and then the unit's handling the heating and cooling of the space. Then you have what's called a dual path unit. We don't see these very often. These are more of a custom specialized unit where everything's in one unit. So you have a dedicated outdoor air path or air tunnel on top, which is right here. And then the bottom unit is taking the return air or the bottom path is taking the return air, providing the sensible cooling and mixing it here with the outside air. This is a more custom and expensive application, typically better for larger single zone applications in my experience. A few of the advantages of the direct to space is it saves on cost, it's easy to measure and balance, can be shut off during unoccupied hours, the humidity is controlled, it's decoupled and controlled by the DOAS system, and it handles all ventilation loads and terminal units are sized for sensible only. So it's serving to the back of terminal units, this was number two, the same duct and diffusers, you're using the same duct and diffusers so you're reducing cost, the ventilation air, and recirculated air are thoroughly mixed, terminal unit size for sensible only, and since the DOAS handles all the ventilation load and all the space latent loads, there's no condensation in the space, typically. And I think we talked about the advantages and disadvantages of this here. All right, so if you found this helpful, please like it, share it, save it, follow me for more tips, and check out HVAC TV, our YouTube channel. Appreciate you watching.